Hi everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to embed a Plotly graph within a website. Here I have a, my own personal website, which is still a work in progress. What I want to highlight in this website is a portfolio of my work. This will include YouTube videos I've made as well as a dynamic resume. If I go to the resume section, we can see that it's blank. What I want to add here is a graph that has a bar chart that lists the programming skills I have, as well as how many years I've worked with those programming languages. If we go to Google Colab, this is where I am going to create the bar chart. I have Plotly Express imported. What I'm going to do first is I am going to create a dictionary that lists the programming languages I've worked with, as well as how many years I've worked with each of them. I have my dictionary created, and the first key that we have is the programming language or program that I've worked with. Excel is what I've worked with the most, and we can see that I've eight years of experience with it. Then it goes down from there. The second key I have is the years of experience with each of those, and the values are just the number of years in integer form. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to create the figure itself within Plotly. And here I have what the figure will be. So I'm going to call Plotly Express here, PX, and then I want to create a bar chart. So I'm going to call the bar, and I'm going to pass in the dictionary first. So that's going to be the experience dictionary. The x-axis is going to be the name of the programming language. The y-axis is going to be the years of experience, which is going to be the height of the bar. And since I have a dark background for my website, I want the bars to be white. And I also am going to update it with some other characteristics. These two will allow me to have a clear background, so there won't be a background when I export this to an HTML file. I want the font color to be as to be white as well, and I want the font it to be Verdana, which is what I'm using on my website as well. Let's run this. And I'm going to switch to a darker background right now so we can see the bar itself. Great. And we can see that we were able to create this and we have the bar. Plotly is pretty interactive. If I hover over the bar, I can see that it's the programming language and it's Excel and there's eight years of experience there. The What I'm going to do finally in the script is I am going to write this to an HTML file. I just hit fig dot, then there's a function called write HTML and this will write to HTML. Then I need to input the name of the file. I'll just call this skills.html and we'll run this. This will show up in the content folder over here, and I am going to download this to my local computer. Now that we downloaded the file as HTML, I'm going to check that it was saved on my local computer, and we can see that it was. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to navigate to my GitHub page, and I'm, I have a GitHub repository that contains the HTML code that comprises my website. So I'm going to navigate to that. And what I'm going to do is I am going to upload my file, the, which is a HTML file for the graph. And I'm going to navigate to this graph folder. I'm going to add the file. And I could just drag and drop and commit. I am going to make this pretty informal just to make it, but Usually you would put in the name of the file, so I can put in, and we could commit those changes. And I'll do this directly on the GitHub website through the browser just to make it easier for everybody to follow along. So I have the graph uploaded. What I am going to do next is I am going to navigate to the resume page. And if we go back, we can see that it's currently empty. And I am going to put the graph within this right in between the header and the footer. And we can see that we have the header up here. That's where I have the 
hyperlink that navigates to the homepage, and then the footer that contains some links to some external sites. And I'm going to do this within the browser. So I'm just going to hit the edit button and I am going to put in my HTML code right now. So I have my body here. What I'm going to do is I am going to nest this graph within an iframe. Our source is just our graph folder that contains the skills HTML file. I'm going to set the height and the width. I don't want a frame border, which iframes usually have. And I also want to center the graph. Once I've written the code and I'm confident that it's correct, I can hit commit changes. And depending on how complex your website is, this may take a few minutes to update. And I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to fast forward, wait a few sec, wait a few minutes and refresh this page to see if we were able to update it. And it's been a few minutes. Let's try to refresh. And we can see that we now have our Plotly graph embedded within the website. And we still have the same functionality where if we hover over it, we have the text pop-up describing each of the bars. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included references to Plotly. They do a great job in documenting how to use the package really well on their website. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, and now Odyssey as well. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.